Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to fit a chime. The chime runs longitudinally from bow to stern and reinforces the connection between the bottom of the boat and the first plank. The tricky part about the chine is that it's a curved piece of wood and it has to fit tightly into the bow and the stern. Can't be too long, definitely can't be too short. You can see that the port chine has already been cut to fit, not installed yet. We need to cut the starboard chine so that it fits tightly as well. Here at the bow, we're gonna to need to cut a compound bevel so that the chine will fit tightly into the stem. Step one. Using a bevel gauge, take the bevel between the stem and the plank from the side. Now that I have one angle, I'm going to draw it onto the chine. Step two, take the second bevel between the stem and the plank from the top. Step three, draw both bevels on the chine and make the cut. I drew the bevel on the other plane and now I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so I had to do a little cleanup with the plane, but now you can see that this joint right here is very tight. And on the inside, same thing, nice and tight to the stem. Okay, so now that the chine is cut at the stem, we've got to cut it at the transom. And it's always good to cut your chine so it's a little bit longer than what you need in case you make a mistake. So you can see that it's hanging over the boat and in its final position, it's not going to be here. It's going to come down. It's going to swing down quite a bit. So this, uh, if you can hang with me, is the top of the chine. This would be the bottom. We want the bottom of the chine to end up right there. So I'm going to square a line straight up here and call that my bottom. So I've drawn a line. Now that the bottom of the chine is set, I can cut it. The only thing is, though, as this chine swings down, it's in effect gonna get shorter. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra, a little fudge factor based on cutting these in the past and it's about one eighth of an inch. Okay, so I've clamped the chine to the outside of the boat and this point right here is my original mark. So I'm gonna add about an eighth of an inch right here and this eighth of an inch lines up with the very end of the boat. I can now use my transom as a fence to cut perfectly the angle of this chine. The reason I can do that is because if you look at the inside of the boat, where the chine is gonna to eventually touch is parallel to the outside. So as long as I cut the same angle as the outside of the boat at the right length, it should fit perfectly to the inside. Okay, so I cut the chine, we can take a look at it. Looks pretty tight there in the stern. I'm just gonna make sure you can see it's nice and tight. That's the boat, Let's check it again up in the bow. Looks pretty good. So looks like we're good.